So I thought another way that you might get your kids to eat kale is a is a kind of a minestrone pot pie. Well, I'd be interested. Okay. To see it. Yeah. yeah. And so again, we're going to use the same kale, okay. but we're not going to we're not going to uh, crisp it up, and uh, we're going to make a soup, basic soup. So I think you have to finish cutting up these leeks, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So have your kids had leeks before? They have had leeks before. Okay. And what do they they say anything? They like, are they like are onions. surprisingly good eaters of greens. Oh, good. So the, it's all those leeks finely cut and four cloves of garlic, okay? Very nice. So we're just going to saute these uh, with a little bit of olive oil in a Dutch oven. And it's gonna take about five minutes for, for this to cook. You have yellow squash, okay. which is very good for kids. Do they like squash? They love squash. Oh, okay. Your dad is telling me everything that you like, kids. <laughs> yes, you like squash? Yeah. You like pumpkin? Yeah. Yes? Oh, how fabulous. Now, you take care of all their clothes and all that stuff, too? I do. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Okay, then we can add the tomatoes. Okay. And we can add the cannellini beans. They like beans? They some of them do and some of them oh, don't. Okay. Oh yeah, you and can put rosemary. that little piece of Parmesan rind in there okay. and the rosemary in here. Okay. A little bit of rind, Parmesan rind is funny. Save it, don't throw that away when you uh, uh, grate your cheese okay. because that adds a lot of flavor to minestrone soup. Did huh. you know that? I did not know that. Yeah, it's really, it's really good. Now you can use vegetable stock or uh, you know, low fat or low salt uh, chicken stock. Okay. So just put that in there too. And let this cook just until the vegetables are tender. About oh, it's about 20 minutes. Okay. And uh, so that's basically your soup. It's a nice, thick, hearty soup. So we're going to make the topping for the for this uh, pot pie, and it's sort of like a cobbler topping, a biscuit topping. Okay. So two cups of flour, and we need one table, uh, one teaspoon of salt. You can add that, Natalie, and two teaspoons of baking powder. That's good. That's good. Just like that. Oh, a perfectionist. I love. <laughs> a perfectionist. Okay, you can add the two teaspoons of baking soda. I'm baking powder, excuse me. Just all the whole thing. Yeah, no, bang it, bang it on the side. Yeah, a little bit. Good. And you can just whisk to stir. And now we're going to add the butter. One stick of butter. So you have those nice, still big pieces of butter in there, sort of like coarse meal. And now we're going to add one cup of Parmesan cheese because these are going to be cheesy. Biscuits. Do you like Parmesan cheese? Yeah. It's All the, same, the kids love same Parmesan. Same cheese that you add on your spaghetti. So, so what you do is just form this into a rectangle. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I'm doing all the stuff and not letting you. You can cut this into eight okay. equal pieces for me. Okay, great. Okay, and we're going to put it right on top of the cooled minestrone soup. That's good. Mm -hmm. So we're using a bench scraper. You could use the uh, straight oh, side. It's yeah. easier. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. And so you cut these into squares and then put them four and four and four. All right. Right on top of your, and these will puff up and be so delicious. Yep, that's like that. See how nice? It's really a kind of a fun, fun uh, topping. Yeah, that looks great. And then that goes into a 375 degree oven. So this 375 until the top is golden brown. It takes about 55 more minutes. Okay. So you can make the soup yesterday and cool it and okay. put it in here in the casserole and make your biscuits in an hour before dinner. Great. And then you have a fabulous dinner.